Good evening guys. I wanted to do a video this evening and it's about a couple different topics. One is our only hope is in Jesus Christ, Titus 2.13. And I also want you guys to take a look at Jeremiah 29.11, Romans 15.13, Isaiah 40.31, and 1 Peter 1.3. Remember that Jesus said that he is the only way to the Father, John 14, 6. Narrow is the way, Matthew 7, 13, and 14. The other thing I want to talk about is overcoming spiritual warfare. We all know Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. What other scripture helps us fight spiritual warfare. So I want to go to 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 6. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war against the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty, through God to be the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. And having in the readiness to revenge all disobedience when our obedience is fulfilled. James 4, 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Psalms 91, 1 through 16. Luke 10, 19. Deuteronomy 28, 7. Isaiah 54, 17. And 1 John 4, 4. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. We must come together as brothers and sisters in Christ, putting on our armor and praying against all evil in this world. God will protect his children. Rejoice, for we know soon Jesus Christ comes for his bride. Remember to pray for all lost souls to find and call out to Jesus Christ. The Gospel of Jesus Christ 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Admit you're a sinner in need of a Savior. That Jesus Christ died for your past, present, and future sins and rose on the third day. We know we're close to the rapture because the spiritual warfare is off the charts. We rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. I love you all. God bless.